Hi, I would like to share an exciting information related to Discuss Agile Delhi. We are back with One Day Agile Conference in Delhi and we are doing it on 10th of August 2019. In this video, I am sharing some of the information which might be useful for the professionals who would like to speak in this particular conference. So the whole one day event will have 1845 minutes speaking slots. We will run three parallel tracks which allows us to have these 18 slots. And reviewers are looking for interesting experience reports or a case studies where the participant can learn from somebody else's experience. Now many times when you start thinking about speaking, you may prompted to speak about some concept which you might have learned in the recent time and you may feel this concept can help others. Now the idea here is in conferences participants are usually looking for experience reports rather than a theoretical model which you might have studied some time ago. So present an experience report which means you might have studied, you might have explored some model and then you implemented that in your work environment and you have some work learnings. Learning does not mean everything worked as per the book but you have some learnings and those learnings are of use of the people who are coming in your talk. So look at your talk in this view and focus on what one can take away from your talk rather than focusing on what model you are going to explain focus on the takeaways or the benefits one can get by attending your uh, session. The other thing is we are using a convention as a platform for accepting the talk. It allows you to update your talk proposals based on the feedback you get or based on your own insights. You may propose something today and after two days if you have some ideas you are like welcome to update or improve your uh, proposals. Now, at the same time, this convention also allows public to provide you feedback. So it gives an open platform for the speakers to interact with prospective participants. So be as clear, as informative you can be in your talk proposals. Timelines. So since I, uh, we have 18 talks, we are dividing the talk acceptance process in two phases. By 25th of June, we will shortlist 9 talks and it's based on all the talks which we get. We have a mechanism of ranking them and based on those ranks, the shortlisting will be done and the top 9 talks will, give, will get announced. We will start accepting more talks after that and by 1st of August, we will announce the rest of the 9 talks. So it's good if you apply early because Initially, there might be less competition for your talk acceptance. So go ahead, if you have an idea, apply it now. Why to delay it for the later date? Now, some of you might be watching this video and thinking of how can we attend this conference as a delegate? So we are not yet open for registration because initially we want to focus on building the good content and good outline for the conference. And once we have that, we believe we can communicate with our participant better. So by 1st of July, we will come up with our 60-70% draft agenda would be clear and the theme and other details would be clear and that is a good space for you to decide about attending or not attending this particular conference. The another thing which we are doing, especially for the delegate is, we are capping this registration, delegate registration limit to 100. We won't cross 100 people in this particular conference. We will declare it sold out. Now you might like think why it is. So anything more than 100 and 125 people after adding organizers and speakers uh, has a probability of getting into too big where you won't be able to interact and make good human connection during that particular day. So for this particular conference, we are experimenting with an upper cap for the conference attendees. So we will open the registration on 1st of July and we have limited 100 delegate pass for this particular conference.